In fairness, all of the research projects are exciting. Uh, what I would say is that um, there are a couple of areas where the situation has become a lot more hopeful or a lot more critical in that way. So I'll give you, an, I'll give you a couple of examples. One is for FSH or facial scapular humeral dystrophy. And the second is for ALS or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Now, for most of our conditions, most of the 40 conditions that we take care of here at MDA, um, we've identified what the defective gene is, what the missing or defective protein is, and so we have a handle and we know how to start to fix these diseases. Well, for FSH and for ALS, for these two conditions, it's taken a very long time to get to the stage where we are right now, where we are starting to see promising leads. And so, for example, in FSH, there's a protein called DUX4 that's been associated with FSH. And for all this time, we only had a very general idea of FSH. And so now there are three new grants that have been funded in this cycle that will start to address the importance of DUX4 in FSH and to take it to the next level. Similarly, for ALS, we have two grants that are designed uh, to take the promising leads that we have in ALS right now to the next level.